Hi, welcome to another installment in our series on APIs, a new digital channel. I'm going to be talking today about licensing and monetization and the features in our Community Manager product that can help actually enforce licensing and actually allow you to monetize your API strategy. So most businesses are looking at APIs to create a new digital channel. And what I mean by that is that they're trying to figure out how to take APIs and ultimately make money from them. There's a number of different steps in this process. The first is to actually build this channel, which implies that you need to identify your customer, you need to identify the API products and plans, and you need to be able to communicate their value. In other words, you need to figure out your go-to-market strategy. Secondly, you actually need to be able to monetize this new digital channel. And that means you need to be able to sell your API products. You need to be able to enforce the plans or terms of the license agreements that you have. And you need to be able to bill your customer. And last but not least, you need to be able to refine your go-to-market strategy over time. You need to be able to report on the use of licenses. And you need to be able to evolve them to the changing needs of the market. So to start off, I'm going to go into the product and I'm actually going to define a set of licenses. And you can see that I've already defined a gold level and a silver level license. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to add a new one called bronze level. And this bronze level license is going to perhaps offer the API for free, free access up to 10 transactions second. Once I save this API, I can then add a set of scopes to the API. And the scopes are permissions that control runtime visibility and runtime entitlements to that API as well as the documentation associated with that API. And we're going to present other webinars that cover these topics in more detail. So now you can see I have three licensing levels. The next step is to go to an API and actually associate those licenses with groups in the context of that API. So first of all, you can see that I've invited a group called Freeloaders to be able to see this API. And I can click on the edited li edit licenses agreement and I can add the bronze level license to this group association. So now the Freeloaders group has visibility, uh, the, uh, they can visibly they can see the API and when they try and connect to the API they will be presented with two different licenses the silver level and bronze level license. To show you that I'm going to switch over to a different browser and log in as a different user. I'm now going to navigate to that API and I'm going to connect to that API with an application. What you can see here is I'm now offered as a developer the two different license agreements that the business wants me to see. I can see the silver level and the bronze level agreement. So I'm going to click on the bronze level license agreement which gives me free access up to 10 transactions per second and save that connection. Now you can see that I've connected my free app to the payments API and it's basically being controlled by and managed by the bronze level license. So that is all for this demonstration. Please look to other webinars to see further how licenses affect the runtime and documentation within the system. Thank you.